welcome back to another video of Salty's Egg Balls. Uh, today's video is about the prediction, my prediction, of tomorrow's Super Bowl game between the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. So this game is going to be an absolute banging game. I, that's my opinion. It's going to be an awesome game tomorrow. Um, it is evenly tight, you know, as I was discussing in my other videos uh, about, you know, on the Chiefs and the 49ers. It's going to be very kind of even like uh, you can kind of say like the offenses are you know they both got their pros and cons and also their defense as well so it will be a very very interesting matchup um, what I'm interesting to see, what I'm interested to see it is is how uh, Jimmy Garoppolo is going to do against uh, against the pass rush so he's obviously the kind of quarterback that's never comfortable in the pocket uh, he's not one of the best scramblers in the game in my opinion um, you know, it'll be interesting to see how many balls he actually throws and how much the 49ers will depend on their running game against uh, the Chiefs. So it'll be interesting because they got a lot of weapons, uh, the, uh, the 49ers, and especially their running game as well, like Matt Breida. Uh, they've got obviously uh, Moster, as Raheem Moster as running back. They've got a lot of weapons, especially on the wide receiver front. You've got Emmanuel Sanders, you've got uh, Debo Samuel, of course George Kittle, probably the best tight end in the league. Um, so there's a lot of weapons there that the 49ers can do to win the game for them. But initially I think the main strength though is probably their defense. Their defense has been playing, I mean, literally lights out this year. And, um, you know, like I said, you've got Nick Bosa, Eric Armstead. Uh, you know, these two players are just sacking quarterbacks for fun and they're just an absolute nuisance for to any offense um, to that they play against, um, and also they've got like really good players in defense as well. They've got obviously you know, Richard Sherman as the quarterback, who's their veteran player in D. So there's a lot of uh, experience there in that team, which I feel that you know the 49ers can kind of kind of carry with them because I feel like the defense for the 49ers is their actual strength, and that's the kind of um, that side of the ball game for them is their strength and that kind of leads the team uh, and guide the team and gets them wins and victories. So um, so that I think is the positive thing about the 49ers. On the Chiefs however, I think like you know like with Patrick Mahomes, I mean he's also not only he's a good scrambler but he's also a very very good uh, quarterback. So he's the kind of guy when he's under pressure he can get out of the pocket and like make things happen. And he's got an excellent uh, you know, chemistry with you know, with Travis Kelsey, who this guy put the ball anywhere, he will fucking catch it. He's that good. I mean, he's just got has that, that like glue, literally. You know, and uh, he always makes himself open. Even if he's got like, you know, two people, uh, two players giving covering him, he will make a way for him to catch the ball when wherever the quarterback throws it. And that's what I love about Kelsey's game. And you know, he's um, he's you know, he's also a good blocker as well. Um, along with that and of course uh, a player that uh, I haven't mentioned of course is you know is uh, Hill I mean Tyreek Hill has been amazing this year this guy has been you know a deep deep threat wide receiver um, again it'll be interesting to see how he matches up with the um, with the 49ers safety and the cornerbacks as well so it'll be interesting to see how the 49ers will mark him uh, if the Chiefs decide to throw deep uh, one of their play calling um, so my prediction uh, it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough um, you know I think oh, you know I was thinking about this actually I mean all week now and I and I have to say I, I've watched like last night I was watching all the games uh, of the Chiefs and the 49ers from week one until the their respective championship games and uh, they both play very, very well, and you can kind of see why both teams have kind of made it into the postseason and eventually to the Super Bowl. Um, even though they had a lot of help along the way, uh, with both teams got um, home field advantage with a few lucky play calling, but that's ifs, uh, and that never happened. So, and that's hence why they got home field advantage and they got the weak rest and they got to Super Bowl. But, um, but again, I was evaluating the game tonight. And I have to say, you know, if I was have to pick a team I can rely on to win me the game tomorrow, 
it will probably be the 49ers defense. I think that defense this year has been playing lights out and they have been playing like some five star performances this season. Um, you know, like I say, you got Nick Bosa, you got Eric Armstead, they got Ford. You know, they've got a lot of weapons on that D that they can make things happen. You know, and um, yeah, I just, I just really think that um, that the, the Chiefs have got a lot going for them against that defense tomorrow. And I think it's going to be very hard for them. Um, even though, like I said, like Patrick Mahomes is scrambling quarterback, he can get, he can make things happen, he can gain yards and. You know, and possibly a lot of first downs with his running game. Uh, but I, you know, if I had to pick a team, it'll be the 49ers. Um, the score, on the other hand, e, uh, that's what, this is interesting. Um, the score, I would have to say, I'm gonna go for like a really tight game. I'm gonna go for. I don't think there will be a few touchdowns being scored in this game. Um, so I'm going to go 28-26 for the 49ers. That's 28-26 to the uh, 49ers. And uh, yeah, that's my prediction. So I hope uh, this video is useful and I hope that you, know, you, like, you comment, like and subscribe to my future videos. Enjoy the game tomorrow, guys. 11.30 kickoff. Um, have a good one. Um, stay safe and stay humble. See you in the next one.